Hello, I am Dr. Randall Bell. We're here at Core IQ where we talk about important life skills, important stuff we all got to know. And today's episode is epic because we're talking about goal setting. Goal setting is just one of those things that comes up at the top of the list all the time when it comes to the skills we all want to know. And believe it or not, there's kind of a science to it, if you will. There's a process. You don't just kind of set a goal and you know daydream about it. There's a process to really turn these objectives into a reality. And I can't be happier than to have Danny Ray here to talk about it. Danny, good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Danny is a magician I met at the Magic Castle. That's up in Hollywood. Danny was stellar, one of the top three easily, if not number one, I'd seen. And I've been going there since the 1980s or 90s, so a long time. Uh, so impressive, not just his, his ability to get up and entertain crowds, but also his 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 story, you know who he is and and what he's accomplished. So, uh, talking about goal setting, <laughs> you know. So the you know Danny, I kind of want you to walk this through this. Yeah. But yeah. there's basically six steps of goal setting. Yeah. That let's you, you you tell me what's number one. Yeah, you need to write it down. Is <laughs> if you don't write this thing down, if you don't write like this is what I'm going after. The, the research just shows like you're much less likely to accomplish those things. So we really have to take what we have here and put it on paper. Here's one of the, and I've, I've done goal setting for the last 20 some years. And I, I did my hundred year goals at one point, you know, to just go <laughs> like, what's the most insane. But most of the research shows like taking three to five. Um, three to five goals and really focusing on those either for a quarter or for a short season will really um, give you the ability to accomplish those and kind of reevaluate those as you go along. But if you don't write it down, you're you're not gonna um, you're not gonna be able to accomplish that that as effectively because you're not gonna know what you're aiming for. Yeah, I hear yeah. you because I I have four kids and I know you have kids and I tell my kids. A goal not written is only a wish. Yeah. <laughs> so a, a wish or a daydream translated into a legitimate goal, that process is as simple as writing it down, right. maybe sticking it on your uh, bathroom mirror where you see it, you know, and there's right. uh, there's this kind of, a, uh, speaking of magic, a magical, magical <laughs> transformation in writing it down, sticking it where you're reminded. And that's definitely... Uh, the next thing is like not only writing it down, but look, have it in a place where you look at it yeah. consistently, if yeah. not daily. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so we got number one figured out. Let's yeah. go to number two. What's that? Um, so you want to not just write it down, you want to set a date. So let's say you wanted to lose weight and you said, I want to lose 10 pounds over the, the next two months, mm -hmm. right? So you don't just say, I want to lose weight. You say, by this date, I want to accomplish losing 10 pounds. What that does is it, it puts in your mind um, a due date. It puts a goal. And when you, when you set um, a, a due date, that, that time, that works on your mind. Like you're, you're beginning to think through like, how can I accomplish it? What am I going to do? What am I going to change? What am I going to um, make new in my life and get rid of in my life um, by this time? And so um, writing it down, keeping that in front of you, and then having a, a time frame on that really helps with accomplishing that goal. I love it. So, yeah. okay, so science has taught us write it down, write down a due yeah. date, and then what's number three? So you want to um, take those in and break them into smaller chunks. So you have the bigger goal, right? Yeah. Of I want to lose 10 pounds, but what am I going to do about that this week? I'm going to um, eat three healthy meals every day. And so I write down, and I would personally like write down the, the daily steps, the weekly steps, the monthly steps to accomplish that. And so you, you start with that big goal, but then you work backwards. It's actually the same with a, when I'm creating a magic show, mm -hmm. as I start with the end, is I want to create something that's incredible at the end where people are like, whoa, yeah. you know, but to get there, you have to um, start here and go, well, how am I going to get there? And you back up to the very first thing when you walk out on the stage. Same thing with goal setting is, you know, at the end, you want to have this big moment where you're like, wow, I've lost 10 pounds, I've done this, whatever that goal is. But to get there, you have to work backwards till, okay, so what do I need to do today? I get it. So to put it into my simple head, you start <laughs> with the end in mind. Yes. And then you don't try and eat the elephant all at once. You, t you figure out the bites that eventually yes. get you there. Yeah. Is that, do I got that okay? Yeah, except I don't recommend eating elephants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll 
that. I, I get your point. <laughs> I, I will back off my uh, aspirations to eat elephants. All right, so number four, we need to prioritize each task. So if you're, uh, I'll, I'll stick to uh, the, the, I feel like we should grab a different goal for a second. Let's say you want to start um, a new company, okay. right? And you say, you know, by next year at this time, I want to be making X amount of money. I want to be into this, but you need to prioritize, you know, um, one of the first things I prioritize with people when they're thinking through starting a new um, business is how much money do you want to make, yeah. you know? And then, so what's that mean for this month? What's that mean for this week? And what's the maximum you could go without making any money before you make your first dollar? And right. so, but you have to prioritize. And I think for a business, if you don't have money, that's a big priority to, to be able to um, make your operation well, um, run well. Yeah. So yeah, you have to prioritize, but that might not be, um, you know, number one, the number one might be the marketing, but you have to figure out what are the essentials that we need to do to move this um, goal forward. You know, and it's interesting you say that because when it comes to making money, and that, that obviously comes up in Core IQ a lot, how do I yeah. make money and take care of my bills and take care of my family, take care of myself? I my, One of my first jobs was window washing. I, you know, I was yeah. that, that fool on the outside of the building in downtown <laughs> LA washing windows to make an extra $1.35 an hour in risk pay to pay for college, you know? Yeah. So whether it's a window washing business or a bigger business, the concepts are exactly the same. So if right. you're a brand new entrepreneur, this is exactly it. You look at the goal, you set the time, you the tasks, then you put them in the order because you're doing them in the in the order of the priorities that, that yeah. you're seeing. And I think that the prioritizing things is individual. It's not something you could come to me and say, well, you know, what are what are my priorities? Right. You have to figure out, you know, based on who you are, what you want to accomplish, what what gets to the top of the list. Okay, love it. So, so we set the goal, we set the date, we break down the tasks, we put them in the order of priority. What's number five? You need to put a due date next to each one of those priorities. You okay. know, so it, it's what we talked about earlier, but this is like the same thing with a, a goal is setting a due date on those. You need for each task, when do I want to accomplish this? And what's the most effective strategy for getting me there? So, so yeah, you have to set due dates on the smaller steps to get you to your bigger goal. Okay, so we now have the big goal, but it's actually a big goal is a, an accumulation of smaller steps along the way. Right. We write those down too and give them a specific date. Correct. Okay, yeah. what if you miss a date? Let's say just say, you know, something unexpected comes up and you have a, you know, April 5th written down here and you miss it. What do you do? Yeah, I, I think that what you don't want to do is beat yourself up, you know, con consistently for missing goals. I think what, what we need to understand with any type of goal is it's fluid. We're in, in process in our lives. And so there will be things that come up. There'll be somebody's terminated at work, that affects your your goal. Somebody dies in the family, somebody gets sick. These are all life circumstances that are bound to happen mm -hmm. if we have big audacious goals, you know, is in that time frame, there will be uh, things where we need to be flexible and fluid so we don't just abandon it. We yeah. have to reevaluate it and go, okay, can I double up and, and accomplish the smaller task to still keep to the bigger goal and um, stay on deadline? Or do I need to change this a little bit to make sure that I, I still get the goal, but the timeline's a little bit different. So if you kind of fall off the horse, you just get back on and keep riding, make keep some going. adjustments, life happens. Yeah. And I love your comment, don't beat yourself up. Yeah. You know, give your, cut yourself a little slack. And maybe yeah. you were a little aggressive on something. Uh, yeah. That's okay, readjust and just keep going. Right. Right, okay, yeah. love it. And then our final point, uh, so you want to check off each task as you do it. You know, there's something, not to use the word magical, but it, there is something magical about when you check that off, you feel accomplished, you feel like you've done what you've set out to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and this isn't on here, but I, I love setting um, rewards along the way of saying, you know what, at the end of the, this month, if I've hit, checked off these tasks, I'm gonna go out with my wife, we're gonna go out for a nice dinner, or we're, we're gonna do something special as a family. It's a, that, that reward, there's something about it that keeps your motivation going forward. Yeah, and I happen to know what that something is. It's actually a shot of dopamine. It's a, when you take uh, the counterfeit drugs, the yeah. cocaine and the heroin and the crack, all, all these, they, that's a counterfeit drug. But when you actually check it off, your brain secretes chemicals into your bloodstream yeah. 
And it's not it's not an illusion. You feel better for a reason. <laughs> right. And and we were talking in Core IQ with a medical doctor who told us how to get high. There's a there's a counterfeit <laughs> way to get high. You've been to prison. <laughs> yeah, You're I'm, we're, to I'm getting high. I'm telling others to get high. But there are legitimate ways to get high. You know, yeah. your passions. And goals are really about reaching your passion, reaching your dreams, yeah. and, and making it really happen. And that is an authentic high. So I'm right. all for authentic highs. Yeah, and, that's and, yeah great. the checking it off gets us there. Okay, so this is great theory, but I'm thinking maybe we put it into practice a little bit. Now, yeah. I've told people that you are like at the top of the pinnacle <laughs> at the Magic Castle. Now, that kind of means something because I know this crew. I've, I've had um, lunch with Penn and Teller. Yeah. I, I, David Copperfield called me up once and invited me up to his inner you know, warehouse. I've hung out with him. I, I know the best of the best, yeah. and, and you're certainly in that league. So you must have set some goals along the way. What, what did that all look like? Yeah, I've set a lot of goals. One was to perform at the Magic Castle. The first time I um, went to the Magic Castle, I was 15 years old, and I had dreamt about performing there and um, becoming a member there. And yeah. so at 15 years old, I attempted to become a member there, and I got that rejection letter. And as a 15-year-old, like, getting rejected, like, it, it's a rough thing. You know, yeah. like, you... You're disappointed. You feel like, well, I, I haven't honored the craft. I'm not good enough. All those insecurities that came into play. But then I went back to the drawing board. I went, let's keep going. I, I started working at a restaurant at 15 years old shortly after that. Started honing my skills with working with people. I'm going to open up a, a new deck of cards as okay. we talk. Um, okay. And, and so then I became a member. And a few years after that, I became a performing member um, in the coveted close-up room at the Magic Castle. That's where and I saw you. Yes. Um, yeah, and that that is really the top tier. Those yeah. are just the junk cards. I don't okay. want you to worry. Okay, uh, okay. So it's it's in perfect order. I'll show it this way. I All don't right. know if the camera will be able to pick up, but I think it can pick that up. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Sierra is our, our camera person. Can I have you help me out? I'm going to shuffle these up, get them out All of right. perfect Sierra's order. All right, Sierra's normally behind the camera. Yeah. We need to get her in front of the camera. Uh, she she has to be, you know doing something for I, I'll do so, you know what I'll do I'm gonna do something yeah, different. Uh, I'll do something with uh, for both of you. Uh, so so here we go, Randy. Okay. Reach in, grab any. You're happy just with that. Um, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I could just stop there. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. That's like perfect. It is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here. Reach okay, in. okay. I'm gonna pick right there, Danny. Okay, go ahead. Show it to the camera. Okay, I'm not. I'll show, can I show Sierra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not showing you. You don't have to show it okay. to me. Okay, I could see it through the camera. No problem. Nine of hearts. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't. I won't peek. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, but you did show it to the camera. Yeah. I was like, oh, I could see that. Okay. I'm here. Reach in. Grab a different one. Okay, right there, right, okay. right there, right there, right there. Okay, and Sarah, will you reach in and grab a, a card as well? Mm -hmm. Just don't take the nine of hearts. Any other card's fine, okay? Um, so... If I got the nine of hearts, Oh, do yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, uh, not, the, not the nine of hearts. You could take the, the queen of spades, that's fine. The five of hearts would be fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, just not the, not the nine of hearts, okay? So, here we go. Um, Wait a minute. Are you messing with me? <laughs> Look, any of these. We're, we're uh, up close watching this. <laughs> any of these are Are fine. you kidding me? Okay, just not the nine. Uh, you could go uh, You go with the seven of hearts before I finish. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I can't believe that. Uh, I, have, I have no idea how you're doing this. I know how 90% of this stuff is done. I'm, I'm baffled. I'm watching you, dude. Uh, I'll try to help you. Okay, look, I'll, I'll I'll place the nine here. You take a different card. Oh, if you took that one, it would actually be the Queen of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. What? All right. That's crazy, uh, man. Here. Okay, so look at your card. Show them to the camera. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not looking, genuinely not looking this time. Okay, you're not looking, you're no. not a big cheater. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. You know what your card is? Yeah. You need to write it down? You're Probably. All right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you each hold out your hands for me, okay. one over the other like this. Let's make sure they're, yeah, they're in camera. Okay, so I will start with, with your 
I almost dropped the cards there. Um, your card, the five of spades. I'm gonna have you hold on to the five of spades. Did you see Randall's card? Um, you had what, the jack of hearts. I'm gonna have you hold on to the jack. That was your card, right? It, no. What was your card? Five of clubs. Or oh, you had five, the, five of spades. I mean. You had the five of spades. Yeah. Here, watch. One, two, three. Go ahead, look at your cards. Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. That's insane. <laughs> You're I'm, speechless, right? I am speechless. Right? <laughs> I have nothing to say. It's rare to shut me up. <laughs> that's that's insane. So. Yeah. Bravo, man. <laughs> Thank it you. does not get better than that. You, you know, you remind me. Thank you, you remind me. Thank thanks, you. Sierra. You remind me of a guy named Bodine Velasco. Yeah. It, it, where, where he's banned from casinos. I don't know if you've been banned from the casinos. <laughs> I think he was cheating. You know, yeah. I, you, you don't strike me as a cheater. But that's mind bending. Yeah. It, yeah. You don't. Yeah. I and mean, you had to do the every. For sure. Like all of those go into every piece I do and thinking through like, what's my goal? How am I going to accomplish that? Yeah. And there's lots of reevaluating on the way. Is sometimes the, the presentations offer. Does it connect right with people? Yeah. Or, yeah, um, or the misdirection's not right. You know, I have to figure out what what am I going to do? Because it's not just, you know, like a you know a math problem, you know, that um, could just be solved. It's, it has to be solved relationally as well. Yeah, yeah. So. And, and it's no secret. I, I'm not giving away, you know, magician's top secret. They're a secret, you know, they're, they're, they're like uh, rig decks. That was yeah. a real deck. No, this is no, brand new deck I'm cars. vouching. Yeah. I have <laughs> no clue how you did that. And, and it's a great illustration. He set a goal, he said, and you did obviously, you know, you failed the first shot. Yeah. That You didn't stay down, you went for it again. Yeah. And then you reached, not just, the Magic Castle has three rooms. The close-up room is the premier, the best yeah. of the best, where other magicians can be right there and you can fool them. And and it's, it's like freakishly awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely nerve wracking. You literally have the best of the world sitting across the table, oh, yeah. not in a vast auditorium, like yeah. a foot away from you watching, oh, yeah. you know, watching and every people move. watch like, you know, you know, so close, but yeah. it's, it's fun. So, you know, what's, what kind of strikes me, Danny, is that these, this, this process is only six steps. Right. It's not rocket science, right. but it makes the difference between wandering aimlessly through life and saying, having a life of purpose and, and saying, Hey, that looks good to me. I'm going to accomplish that. Right. You know, I, I, I see what that person's accomplished. I don't want to take it away from them. I respect them. Right. And I'm going to, I'm going to take the steps and, and accomplish that. It gives you a roadmap to do that. Right. It's interesting. The two words you use, the um, purpose mm -hmm. and passion, yeah. those two blended together are set you up for a great life. When, you, when you're doing the things that you're passionate about and you're living on purpose intentionally, yeah. you're going to be right where you need to be. Boom. Well, I can't think of a better person to really kind of walk us through these steps than you because I know you've accomplished a lot of great things. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say thanks. And I want to say thanks to everyone for watching. Thank you know, you. remember to like and share Core IQ because it's these are life skills we all need. We all do better as a community, as a society, individually when we apply these fundamental steps into our lives and businesses and families. So thanks for being here, Danny. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next time.